Hey YouTube, it's Liberty4343 here again. I'm going to try a different angle today uh, with the camera, see if that works out. I've seen some of the other guys do this, so it'll be kind of my one of my early experiments again with trying a different angle. But today I'm calling this particular video uh, Rants, Raves, and Ron Flattery. Um, you know, I've been thinking about doing a video about Ron Flattery's knives for a long time. I currently only own one. So it's not, when I use the word knives, it's not like I'm doing a, a video plural on any of them. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this particular knife. Um, I found out, the story is this. Um, <clears throat> you know, when I was on the forums, Blade Forums, a while ago, um, you know, earlier, maybe in the summertime, I guess, last year, in 2012, uh, one of his knives came up for sale. And it was a knife that had, it was, you know, pretty reasonably priced, under $300. And I looked at it and I went, oh, I've never heard of that knife. And I was doing a little research. And to be honest, there was only maybe two YouTube videos on the guy. I really couldn't find a lot of information about him. And of course, I procrastinated a little bit too long by about 10 minutes and the knife sold. So I emailed the guy who had the knife. And the guy tells me, well, you know, it's a pretty good knife, but it's not that big of a deal. You know, there are a lot of other better knife makers out there, yada, yada, yada. And I thought about it and I'm thinking, you know, I don't know, maybe the guy doesn't like the knife personally, maybe he doesn't like the way the, the clip is, I don't know. So I did some more research and I put out a uh, wanted to buy and pretty quickly I had a guy that responded to me, hey I have one, um, I'll be out of town for a while, we'll try to get together, you know I emailed back and forth and I hadn't heard from him in a while, boom a few weeks later he tells me, hey I'm real sorry I didn't get in touch with you, I got the knife, it's a good price, Are you still interested in it? I said sure. He sent it to me and he told me, hey, look, you know, there's still, there's a little bit of issue with the lock mechanism, but I'm sure you can get a hold of, of Ron and he'll take care of it for you. So I ended up buying the knife from him and I got uh, Ron's contact information from some other forum members and I sent the knife out and, you know, I contacted Ron and he said, hey, you know, go ahead and ship it out to me. Um, you know, if you, if you could, could you help with the shipping? I said, no problem. Uh, Next thing I know, within a couple of weeks, and I gosh, maybe even like a week and a half, I, I get the knife back. And not only do I get the knife back, but I get a note in there, and I'll, I'll show it to you. I don't know if he wants me to show his phone number or anything. I get the handwritten note there, and it says, you know, hey, Ben, adjusted the lock. Thanks for the offer on the shipping, but, you know, I'll take care of it. You don't even have to do anything. So he sent me the knife back. Uh with the $20 bill in it. He didn't even charge me. He fixed the knife up for nothing. I didn't buy the knife from him, but he took care of me. And that's kind of what my rant and rave is about today are the quality companies that are out there because there really are some kick-ass companies. Let me talk a little bit about this knife first because this knife deserves its own video. First and foremost, let me show you this right here. This is the knife itself. It's the Ron Flattery Model 1 frame lock and it comes with uh, a couple of things. It comes with a little spec sheet here and the spec sheet has all the information on it. You know, it tells you that it's A2 steel. It tells you that the pivot is quarter inch stainless. It's lock side, non-lock side. It's this maroon micarta and all this other good stuff in here. And you know, you can check it out. The blade length, three and three eighths, closed length, etc. overall length. And I love his motto at the end. And if you can see it down there, I don't know if it's going to come in focus or not. Knives made for mundane tasks. I love it. You know, the thing that's kind of weird is I'm surprised more knife makers don't include, I know it would be kind of a pain, but if you're doing a run of knives to have something like this, a little spec sheet, that's pretty cool. The other thing that comes with the knife, which is, I think, really pretty cool as well, and this is just one of those goofy kind of nerd things, but it also included this too, which are the specs on the various screws that are there. So you know it, it, the clip is, is this type of torque size or whatever and that's kind of nice. You know all screws installed with Loctite, he just tells you it. But I like the personal touch. The knife itself is really cool. Um, you know it is handmade. You can tell you know the jimping here. It's not perfect. It's not going to be the kind of jimping you're going to get on a Chris, Chris Reeves knife. But guess what? Ron Flattery, it's one dude making the knives. He's not even a full-time knife maker. He's got a regular job. And yet the knife itself is just very cool. 
It's got nice centering on it. I mean, it's dead centered. I shouldn't even say knife. It opens and locks up perfectly. Nice early lock up. I don't even want to take a guess at what that is. I don't know. Let's say, you know, 40, 50% or something. Who cares? It's got a really nice belly on it. And, you know, I'm not a big, I don't really know about A2, D2 steel. You know, of course, people tell me, hey, with A2 steel, you got to just take care of it. But for the price that I paid for this knife, which was exceedingly reasonable, I really got a sweet deal. I got hooked up all the way around by Ron, the guy on the forum, everything. I mean, do I have any issues with the knife? Okay, I'm not a big fan of, you know, tip up or rather uh, tip down carry. Okay, so that's, that's my big pet peeve if I had anything. But who cares? That's the way the knife was made. It's still a great knife. It's really one of my only um, tip down carry knives and it doesn't even bother me. But, you know, talking about the rant of just customer service, I just wanna share some other things too. Um, you know, the story I think I've mentioned before with uh, Les George and his knives, uh, this is one of the VECPs, I've talked about it before. It's one of the first six that he made and I, I didn't get it because it was one of the first six. I got it, it was a, it was a good deal. Cool guy had it on one of the forums, I picked it up. but. I shot Les some emails and he took the time to respond. He took the time when I had some issues with some of the screws and lockup. He fixed it, he sent it back. We had good communication and I love this knife. It's a fantastic knife. Same with lens light, same thing. Uh, called them up, I own two, three lens lights. One's from Tad and uh, the little tiny guy and I own the, the mini and the uh, USN version, the bigger two cell version, love this thing. You call the guys up, you can talk to them, great customer service. Why do I have the TAD tool? Because TAD is a great company. What can I say? Emails responded to from the friggin' owner of the place, the star, or rather the, the guy that founded it, from Patrick. How awesome is that? You can talk to the person who started the store. I went to the Hayes Valley store, I went to the Dog Patch store. I got great customer service at both places. Well, couldn't you expect that from every place? not by a long shot. Go to Walmart, see what kind of crappy ass service you get there. And the thing is, you know, when you go to a place like Tad, you buy stuff and, and people see the pants I wear or whatever and they say, how much did you pay for those pants? And you tell them, oh, you know, I paid 119 bucks or $130, whatever it is. And they go, wow, it's a lot of money. I said, sure, you can, you know, buy your pants from REI like I have, you know, some of the cool pants, K-U-H-L, and they're great pants, sort of. I've had them for a year. I carry knives all the time. I carry a bunch of other EDC junk. And guess what? In one year, those pants have been thrashed. You look at the edge where the knife, the clip is, and they're just torn all to hell. Um, however, I've had the pants from Tad now going on two months. You don't even see a mark. And guess what? They're made in the United States. Most of the Tad products are. And even if they're not, Tad will back it up to the hilt. I had a lens light that had a, a, like a lens issue, I sent it back, boom, refund money, no problem. They didn't ask any questions, that was just it. And I'm not saying REI is not gonna do that, they have some of the best customer service, period. Nordstrom's back in the day used to have great customer service. Um, you know, I'm not really shopping at Nordstrom's too much, but you know, that was their big thing. Uh, Costco, as you guys know, they don't have the biggest selection, but guess what, you take something, you don't like it back, you could take a thing of, uh, you know, oranges back and they'll take it back, they don't care. The point is, customer service goes a long way. And in the knife world, it's amazing. I've had such good relations with knife makers, uh, Kirby Lambert, Les George, um, Ron Flattery, obviously, uh, Ray Lock and Nico. Many of these folks that I've dealt with have just been tip top. I really haven't met one single a hole, I gotta be honest with you. Uh, Monkey Edge, I had, uh, you know, they, they forgot something. They didn't even flinch. Yeah, we'll get it out to you. Boop. Two days later, it was there. You know, there's a reason on the forums like USN that companies like Monkey Edge, Tad, various knife makers are mentioned. It's because not only do they have a good product, but they back that product up. And that's one of those things that's kind of lacking in, a, in especially, you know, a Walmart world. I understand people are shopping for a good deal. I have no issue. But that old trite saying of you get what you pay for is so true. And, you know, even in the, the knife world, you get what you pay for. And sometimes, you know what? You get a hell of a lot more, like the Ron Flattery knife. Um, check out his stuff. You know, I do see them occasionally used. Uh, they go lickety split. He's not a full-time knife maker, but he makes a really solid, cool knife. 
Uh, it's one that I enjoy carrying and it's a person who I enjoy promoting because I've had firsthand experience with him and his customer service. Just like Les George, same thing. Nice guy, his knives are very sought after. You know, see how many people attend his lottery, like at the Plaza Show. I was lucky enough to uh, get one of his knives, one of the VECPs there as well, um, at the Plaza Show. And he's truly a gentleman. He's just, everybody I've met in the knife industry has been. Uh, you know, I wish I could tell you that, that I've met somebody who's a dick, but that would be a lie. It might happen in the future, but it hasn't happened yet. So anyway, that's my rants and raves and uh, my raw and flattery. Thank you guys for watching. Keep the shiny side up, and I'll talk to you all soon.